everybody. Stefan here on Gender Queer Chat. Um, this week we are talking about educating others about gender issues um, and what we do. Um, besides talking on YouTube. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm involved in like a lot of different gender stuff. Um, I participate in lots of uh, live journal discussions and YouTube channels and uh, I write blogs on um, on my Facebook and my MySpace and stuff like that. Um, I am also um, like a co-facilitator or whatever of uh, Tallahassee Gender Chat, which is a group that gets together every month and talks about gender issues. Um, it's mostly trans people, but also partners and, um, you know, anybody else who wants to talk about gender stuff. Um, I try to make it as open-ended as possible so that everybody can feel comfortable. And um, I try to make the topics kind of more general instead of trans-specific. So, um, part of what I do is just generally being out as genderqueer and as trans. Um, when people ask me questions, I don't get all defensive or like, fuck you or whatever. Um, I try to answer them as honestly as possible. Um, I mean, I haven't had anybody just ask questions just to be an asshole. Like, I don't know, I guess some people might do that, but most people who ask me questions about stuff like gener genuinely um, like want to know or are curious or like have never heard of it before or stuff like that. So I think it's important to keep that dialogue open um, so that they can learn and that they just don't, you know, go through life not knowing about something and just being ignorant about it. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm out to pretty much everybody. Um, I, uh, I'm out to all of my family and all my friends and, um, I don't know, I guess it's a little bit easier for me because, like, most of my friends are queer, so I don't really have to explain it to people who have no idea whatsoever very often. Um, most people have, like, some idea, even if it's the wrong idea, um, so sometimes it's easier to correct people than it is to, like, explain a brand new concept to them, but sometimes it's better to start from scratch, I don't know. Um, I also participate in panel discussions on campus. Um, I had one this past spring and uh, it was in the dorm rooms for um, like the RAs and all the kids in the dorms like that. And so it was mostly people who were straight, you know, presumably, and um, didn't really have any um, prior knowledge of transgender or gender queer issues, so that was really interesting. Um, we had a panel of like six, five or six people, um, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and queer. Um, so we had a lot of different perspectives and it was good. Um, I'm kind of shy about talking in public um, in general, but for some reason like gender is easy for me to talk about. So. Um, I mean, even if I don't know the answer, I can still, you know, talk pretty well about the issue. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, and I think it's also important um, just, like, to speak up in everyday conversations, even if it's not about you, just about gender in general. Like, sometimes, like, you don't need to say anything, but, like, when somebody makes, like, a remark that's, like, you know, misogynistic or, you know, girls can't do this or boys do this or whatever, like, um, you know, just saying, like, you know, not, not all boys do that, or not all girls do that, or, you know, whatever, um, you know, challenge people's assumptions that, like, they don't think about, um, so, <laughs> it, was, it was really interesting the other day, um, I was with a group of people, and, um, they were talking
talking about how to explain sex to their kids, and like, they're like, well, you know, trying to like, kind of avoid like the actual like active sex issue. Um, they're like, well, it's it's whether you're a boy or a girl. And, like, my first thought, like, it wasn't an appropriate time to bring it up, but, like, my first thought was, like, no, that's not sex, that's gender. Sex is whether you're male or female, but not even that's true, and it would digress into, like, this whole other thing um, and bring the conversation way off topic. But, like, I think about stuff like that all the time. Um, and so, yeah, there's, I don't know, there's so many opportunities to challenge people's assumptions of what's you know, masculine and feminine, or male and female, or boy or girl, or whatever, um, yeah, so, so, yeah, I try to educate people as much as I can, um, I would really like to be a professor, um, of gender, queer, sexuality studies, um, someday, um, still trying to get into a PhD program, so, uh, until then, I guess I'm, I'm just going to try to, like, write and talk and build up my resume and do as much as I can um, in the meantime to prepare myself for that. But, I mean, I've done, I've had lots of different majors, I've done lots of different things, and gender is the one thing that just consumes my free time. Um, and I think it's, it's what I'm supposed to do, so... Alright, I hope that helps out a little bit, um, and in the spirit of education, um, if anybody has any questions out there in YouTube land, feel free to, uh, to write a video response or make a comment or, uh, message my personal page or whatever, and, um, I'll do my best to answer that.